how to know if you have schizophrenia or are developed. Look, tell you the truth, look, I'm not really into all the uh, reverse psychology, psychologist shit. Like, if you ask me, you don't got schizophrenia. You know what I'm saying? You just got a nervous problem. You know what I'm saying? That you just need to you need to stop attention to what you paying attention to that always got you nervous in some way, shape, or form. And you need you need a supporting system in your life to help you get comfortable when you go through those spasms, those mental spasms. Other than that, uh schizophrenia, like I, I, I don't really get down with using psychologist terms and actually believe them and then piggyback off of it like I got some spiritual annotation behind it. All that shit is lostness to me. You know what I'm saying? To tell you the truth. So I'm not I'm the last person to tell you you got schizophrenia. Now, if you got somebody diagnosing that to you, if whatever that they said to you makes sense and whatever medication that they give you actually help you and you feel like it helped, then I, that's something that you dealing with personally as a spirit that I would never know in your space. But other than just the term schizophrenia and what I've known it to mean and things of that nature, I don't quote unquote believe in that. I believe in people who grow up uh, who got mental abused. You know what I'm saying? So not only if you say you got a heavy religious family, right? That's mental abuse. But not only that, you it goes all the way down to you could grow up in a, a household full of retards. That's mental abuse because you don't you don't you won't have certain circumstances that are structure you in certain different areas. So it it'll, it'll play out in situations that psychologists say you got schizophrenia, but it ain't really schizophrenia. You're lacking you're lacking the inability of how to react or respond within certain circumstances and situations and these certain in these situations is overwhelming you a lot more than the average individual who may have grew up with with in a household of individuals who have went through that already and made this individual perceive these things to be more normal than catastrophic you see what i'm saying so it can even be like that if you grow up in a circumstance where you're constantly made to worry especially let's let's say if you grew up in a heavily like you was forced to go to school and shit like that, which I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying like, let's say your parents go extreme with it. They went extreme with it in some way, shape or form. So just the development of your mind state on what would life be like if you didn't get good grades and how your parents will look at you if you didn't go to school. That goes into a bunch of different other areas in your life to the point that you will have a job and try to get married in your life. They ain't got nothing to do with your parents, but you still carrying a small form of uh, mental um Mental destruction. I ain't the word I'm looking for. I just used the word though. Mental uh But yeah, whatever that word I use, then fuck your mind up early in time and then you'll take that shit with you to the rest of your motherfucking life. And now you got motherfucker insecurities or being scared to do certain things that's actually normal in the world. You know what I'm saying? And that builds schizophrenia also. And I hate to even use that word. 